The goal is a daunting one. To stay for 8 seconds on top of a backing bull and escape unharmed from the encounter. Bull riding in a rodeo is normally associated with the US. But every August, Barretos, a city in the state of Sao Paulo in Brazil, becomes the focal point of the cowboy world. The Festival of Peao is the second biggest rodeo in the world. This is the face of Brazil that normally doesn't feature in tourist magazines, the rural side of a country that boasts the highest number of cattle in the world. The site takes 300 hectares and over 10 days more than a million people visit the festival. The rodeo becomes a showcase for the country music known locally as Sertanejo and the traditions of the Brazilian countryside. What started 57 years ago with a gathering of a few friends riding horses is now a global event that generates around 10 million dollars. The rodeo is the perfect chance for Brazilians to show skills learned at an early age. They start around six or seven years old. All the Brazilian ranches have little arenas where the children practice the necessary skills. The kids start riding sheep to learn balance and later on they move to horses and bulls. I'm having my riding lessons slightly later in life, but I'm still determined to learn the trade. Spider-Man is an experienced bull rider who has agreed to teach me the basics. Top physical condition and a lack of fear are the necessary attributes to do a sport that flirts with death. Unfortunately, I have none of those attributes, so this is as far as I prepare to go. Better to leave the real stuff to the professionals. Of course, this being Brazil, the rodeo is also a perfect excuse to have a massive party, a carnival-like celebration that goes on till the small hours. The Barretos Festival of Peao runs for 10 days in August. Entrance doesn't just limit you to the rodeo. You will also win access to some of the best Brazilian country music around. Accommodation may be basic. Most people stay in a campsite close to the arena. But with music like this everywhere, sleeping isn't really an option. <laughs> <laughs> 